Because of my massive procrastination, I've had to resort to shooting my bow only at lunchtime. Now I've got about a half hour here before Gordy will notice that I'm gone, so I gotta get to it. <laughs> This is fantastic. I've still got all kinds of work to do, technical stuff, and it's snowing. Now, I don't mind the snow, but I need the conditions to be perfect to get done what I need to get done with my anchor point, and I know exactly where to go. Well, plan B isn't sexy, but it's gonna work. If I had more free time, I definitely wouldn't be shooting during my lunch hour. And if I had more free time than that, I'd get in here and I'd clean up this garage and put away some of my hunting stuff from three months ago. But reality is, I don't have more time. But based on the weather and that limited time, this is a perfect opportunity to get inside and focus on nothing but my anchor point. Whether inside or outside, I start each practice session up close and personal with the target. I don't worry about aiming, I don't worry about anything but that anchor point. Now rather than closing your eyes and hoping for the best, the whole point is to close your eyes and make it the best. Take advantage of being tucked in these tight quarters. For me, it's all about the anchor point and triangulation. Grip, anchor point, nose, and don't think about anything else. It's all about repetition. Grip, anchor, nose, and then shoot. Although most people don't shoot with a kisser button, and Gordy teases me a lot for it, it's because of that kisser button that I outshoot him every single time. People call them training wheels, but so what? It gives me one more point of reference, I tuck right in the corner of my mouth, and I know exactly where my anchor point needs to be. There's nothing glamorous about anchor point practice, but the truth of the matter is, it makes me a better bow hunter out in the field. Now speaking of monotonous, I gotta head back to the office and do some more monotony. Yes, Gordon.